Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to a channel update video. Um, I haven't done this since that video I made when I got back to Taiwan. Um, it's basically a video of me talking a little bit about what's been going on with my life. Nothing really to do with the game. I, I thought I might as well just put MSL in the background. Um, could be farming something. I haven't been farming all that much. Slimed a few hundred gems. Um, so I'll just park it somewhere. Star Sanctuary actually might be pretty good. Wait, not the not the XP stage. We'll do it in the gold stage. All right. So, anyways, um, if you ever hear this music, like this is the music that I play in the background for um, all my channel update videos. It's basically like a music boxed version of a lot of the Vocaloid songs. Um, I just kind of thought it was it sounded pretty good. A lot of people tell me it sounds sad and some of the songs sound creepy when you music box it. But hey, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fanboy, alright? I'm a fanboy. Um, I have a few things I want to talk to you guys about in this video. Um, some of my original plans and maybe a, a change of plans that I, <laughs> I had. Uh, when I got back, uh, I think it, it was like last week or so. Um, I've been, I, you know, I'm still playing MSL, still farming a lot, but I, I've also been thinking of, um, you know, playing some other games on my channel. A, one of the games I looked into playing was called Honkai Impact, and I actually did, like, a few videos when the um, Southeast Asia version came out, and I was actually waiting for the global launch. And some of you guys actually uh, messaged, messaged me asking me why, like, I, I said I was going to play it, but I didn't, um, and they were waiting forever. But when it finally launched, I still didn't play it. Uh, it it's for for those of you don't, that don't know, it's like basically it's like a mobile game, but it's like an action mobile game. So it's not like MSL. Why am I still on win times? Oh yeah, I was I was just, uh, I was on the other computer. That was why. Um, but anyways, I. Um, I actually something happened that just tilted me really hard um the the game on the global version was actually censored like i actually logged in i tried it and um th they had this thing where like you know they it's basically like a it's pretty much a waifu collector game you just have like it's not a monster battle game but you can use those like um like you can basically battle with your waifu. So that's that's basically what the game is. And um, when I played on the C version, or it, when it was originally made in China, um, the game was made in China. And there's like a Japanese version with like Japanese VAs and all all that stuff. It's actually really really well made. So I actually really wanted to play it. But when the um, NA version came out, I actually I found out that it was actually censored. And um, what what happened was. It, when you have, when you're in like your your home screen, um, you can have like you can set someone as like your main waifu. Like this is this is actually pretty pretty common in a lot of games. Um, and then you can like click her, and then like she she does like different reactions depending on where you click her. Um, and they they like remove that option. Now it's not really a big deal. Like it doesn't affect the gameplay at all. And I I actually went on the Reddit. Um, they they actually had a Reddit, and I was looking, on, or, or a subreddit, and um, I found out that a few of their like costumes and stuff were were also censored as well, and that just I don't know. It just it just rubbed me the wrong way. Like I like I just no longer felt like playing. And I know it's silly. Like it's a really really minor thing, but. Um, I don't know, it feels so wrong. It feels like the game was actually made in China, but the NA version was the one that was censored. So, like, I feel like... I feel like, uh... I feel like things are going backwards, you know? Like... Like, why... Why... Why can't people just like you know let let other people do do their thing you know have fun in their own way? Um, I guess I'm ranting now. Like, what? Why do they have to like fucking be like just because I don't like it? 
you can't like it either. Um, I don't know, I, I never understood that. And I guess that was what pissed me off, because why is there something to catch in every single round? I can't even, can't even talk properly. But it, it wasn't a serious thing because the gameplay and everything was still the same, was still the exact same. A lot of players still really enjoy the game. But I, I felt like I can't, um, I can't support the company publishing it. I know, I know like me doing it doesn't really affect anything. But it's not even about that. It's not even about like, hey, I'm trying to boycott them so they like, they, they, they won't be able to get promotion for their game or whatever, like something like that. It's just, I, I, I didn't want to play it. You know, I no longer felt like playing it. Um, and I mean, you guys know me, you guys know me. I, for the longest time, I didn't spend any money in MSL. And the, the first time I spent money in a very, very long time was buying costumes in MSL. Like, they came out with costumes. And I, I've been saying for the longest time, like, w one of the reasons why I've always kept playing MSL was um, was the visuals, like, the monster designs and stuff like that, and the, the cool animations, like, in clan battles when the ship crashes into each other. I always bring that up, that example. I, th I thought that thing looked amazing. Like, the first time that it happened, it was just, like, the two ships collided, and it was... It was really sweet, um, and I mean, even now, um, you know, sometimes I get comments of people. Actually, recently, I just I just answered one of my comments, um, which I actually go to my next point. But I, I answered one of my comments of someone, like, saying, "Hey, Fantasy, like, I can't believe you're still playing MSL after so long," um, you know, and the. To be honest, like in MSL, I've been doing the same exact thing. It's like a new event comes out, a new monster comes out. We farm that monster. I collect that monster. And then we repeat, basically. Um, but I'm still having fun, and they're, they're making changes to the game. Like, you know, just... I kind of just do things randomly. Like, I do some PvP sometimes, and I... I, I think that's what I enjoy the most and I want to like build my team towards. Um, not exactly too interested in Titans. You guys might have found out I don't really do Titans that much. But I mean I guess I could start getting into it. But it's also a lot of farming, raising monsters, getting monsters gemmed up. Um, but yeah, they're making like gameplay changes um, and fixing a lot of things in MSL. And I definitely think the game has a lot of room to improve and they are actually improving like bit by bit so I'm, I'm pretty happy about that um, my whole point is like MSL compared to um, a lot of games like of the same same genre uh, is like gameplay wise isn't really I can't really say it's that strong um, but what kind of hooked me in the beginning was like it, it looked a lot better than, than all the other games and it still does like it still looks really really amazing for for uh, for a mobile game um, I guess I just I like I like really uh, really pretty looking games that's 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 kind of one of my things and one of one of why I uh, I've been playing it for a bit. Um, it was the same when I found Honkai Impact as well. It looked, it actually looked like a PlayStation game. It didn't look like anything like a mobile game. Um, you guys can definitely still check it out and play it. I don't want to like stop anyone that wants to enjoy the game. You know, just because they, they won't let me poke my waifus. Um, but yeah, I don't even know what to rant about. I mean. It, it's it's inevitable. Um, just you know, when people don't like things, they just they have to force you to not like it either. It's it's pretty disgusting to be honest. But I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I, I guess you guys can like hear the, the disdain in my voice of ugh, censorship. Um, 
but yeah, we're 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 definitely moving backwards. But I I guess China's moving forward, so you know we can count on other countries to make the games that we like, and then play their versions, so it's like not censored. I guess that that might work, because um, anything made in NA now has to be like, you know, has to appeal to everybody, or else, or else it's a no-no. Um, but yeah, that's 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 my rant. That's 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 the first thing I wanted to rant about. Um, the second thing is I, I I know I haven't been replying to my comments as as much as um, I used to a long time ago. Um, to be perfectly honest, I haven't really... I haven't returned to my former self. Like, I, I haven't... I haven't fully come back yet. Um, the... Like, part of me is, is still kind of holding back. Like, it, it's... I think it's... It, it's anxiety. Um, Sometimes I, I used to basically read every single one of my comments, reply to every single one. Um, but then what would happen now, like even after I got back, was I, I would try to reply to comments and I would catch up to the old, all the old ones and then, you know, do that again and again. Um, and it's not that it's tiring. It doesn't, well, it does take a, a little bit of time, but I can al always do it like on my phone when I'm doing something else. Um, but I think because of the like the anxiety of it, I've been avoiding it. So sometimes like if I'm just sitting around, a lot of times I would go on my phone, like before I would go on my phone and just um, try my best to reply to every single comment. But um, it's not that I can't now, it's just that I, I'm like, I've been avoiding it. It's like, I still find it hard to, um, to face you guys sometimes because it the the month and like you know or, or so that that whole entire time you know I was in I was in Canada like before I came back I, I really wasn't myself I was I was just like for a few um, for a few minutes every like two every two days every three days I would appear on camera and then I would like um, I would continue doing this, you know, and then, uh, I think after doing YouTube for a long time, I know a lot of people really like to see, like, whoever they're watching be, like, positive, be happy and stuff, um, and, you know, it brings, it brings a lot of entertainment and a lot of happiness to a lot of people, and, So sometimes, a lot of times, I, I would, uh, I would hide the side of me that's like, not, um, like, the, like the weak side of me, the, the the side that doesn't, you know, that's like, that's anxious, that's afraid, and um, and then only show the side that's like, you know, here, always smiling, always happy. Um, and cause, cause I like, cause from my experience, I, I know that's what everyone likes to see, but it's like doing that for a few minutes, every two days, every three days is like, all right. But then like to be back the way I used to be before. It has to it has to be real, it has to be authentic, or else I can't put in every everything, like my dedication, everything into it. Um, but the like it what kind of pushed me to make this video right now is I actually just replied to a few of my comments. I, I told myself to just start very, very little. Just uh, reply to the the latest comments like you I know you missed a lot for the past two, few weeks you haven't been replying to every single one um, you haven't read a lot of them but just for your newest upload your newest video reply to every single comment there and then that that will be enough that'll be enough um, and 
and after doing so, I actually, uh, actually felt, felt a lot of relief. Like I felt, felt a lot more like I used to be, I guess, I guess it's like that during that time in Canada, like part of me, part of me disappeared. Like the, the old me disappeared. Um, I don't know if it's for, for better or for worse. I mean, there, there are definitely a lot of things I, I learned, um, there and I know I used to be like a really, really proud person. I, I mentioned this in, in the last video and then how, um, through the whole, whole, that whole experience, through my failures, I've been, I've been humbled. Um, and I guess there's, there's good and bad sides to all that. Cause when you're, when you're really proud, you, you feel invincible, right? You just, um, like everything just goes your own, goes your way. Or if it doesn't, you convince yourself that it, it has gone your way or, um, and then sometimes you do that for long enough and then you, you actually do succeed. Um, but there's also dangers to that because you could overestimate your own abilities and then get your, yourself into situations that are really, really, uh, dangerous and, um, you know, could be permanently damaging or life threatening. Um, Which I guess is, is, is kind of what happened, but... Man, this Miho. We're gonna have to catch her first. But it means you'll, you know, you'll act wiser the next time. Um, you know, it still feels like a dream. It actually does still feel like a dream. It, it happened when I, when I came back, like I was just, um, I was just on my bed with my brother watching anime and it felt like that entire time, the, the 10 months or so that I spent, was it 10 or was it eight? I think it was eight months that I spent in, in Canada was like it didn't happen it was just all a dream and I just woke up the next day and life kept going um, <laughs> it was a pretty weird feeling but you know uh, looking back that 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 time period actually felt pretty short I don't even know where I'm going with this. I'm just, I'm just ranting on at this point. Um, but the the conclusion I actually made, I guess for now, is, you know, it's you just gotta come back one step step at a time, and you know, usually the the good news is usually when when um, when you go through adversity you and and you fall down you get up you know at first you you're not you're not a uh, as strong as you used to be but a lot of times you know to after you've like fully stood up um you're you're usually stronger than you're you are before you know through my experience um and i guess that's that's what i'm just trying to say like i haven't I honestly haven't fully stood up yet. That's uh I guess that's the point I'm trying to make. Um But yeah, there's a there's still a lot of work to be done. I haven't really um outside of actually just making videos, I haven't done a lot of things that needs to be done for my channel. Um I need to work on a new overlay. I haven't done that yet. I need to work on um, that. I need to work on my website as well, like fantasyg.com. Um, I've been using that as a place where I can link my stuff together and to work on um, merging my social media platforms and then um, sharing, like, you know, like I, I share, like, just random anime art because people enjoy it. And, um, 
I haven't actually been in my own Discord for the longest time. I've just been kind of avoiding it the same way I've been avoiding like reading comments and stuff because I I guess I guess it really does have to do with I, I know other people don't think this way but it, it like to me um, I, I can't help it but I, I like I find shame in and failure and in my own mistakes so it it it's a little bit harder for me to to face that. Um, but yeah, one step one step at a time, right? Man, I'm catching so much in such little time. People ask me how I catch so much shit. It's just, I do. That's it. Like maybe, maybe they rigged my game and made my rates like super high. I don't know. I I I have no clue. Like you guys are watching this right now. I'm just randomly farming, and then just shit just pops up and I catch it and that's it. And this team is, isn't even, isn't even that fast. Compared to before, because of the whole synergy thing. Um, hmm. What's the other thing? Um, you know that game I've been playing a lot? Well, it's, it's not a real game. It's actually just WoW on a private server. But the server actually has a really, really unique system where you can customize your own class. So basically, WoW has like different classes, like rogues, druids, warriors, mages, and stuff. And then you can choose the spells from all the classes to make like your own custom class. So, I, um, I've been playing that quite a lot. Um, originally it was like, it was like my escape and stuff. I just would do it when there's like nothing better to do uh, but now I started like raiding with a lot of um, after I got to like max level and got into a guild I started like raiding with people and it was actually it was actually a lot of fun um, if I make content for that game it's gonna it's gonna take a lot of time because it's unlike MSL where you can um, leave it in auto and form like this. Like I can be talking, I don't have to move my hands or anything like that. And in WoW and stuff, you have to like do a lot of manual grinding. So a lot of times like, I know if I had to like make content for that game, um, what a lot of people would like to see is like I showcase a lot of different stuff. And that would take like just enormous amounts of grinding, uh, like manually grinding. And <laughs> I'm not sure if, uh, not, not not sure if I I'm actually up for that, um, but it's, it was actually definitely like really really fun. I can definitely do some streams of it as well. Um, and also for MSL, like if I every Saturday if Dragon comes out, I can like, actually do some streams. It's almost Saturday. I've been streaming um, my summoning and summoning for a clanmate the past like the past week or so. It was, it was pretty fun, you know, just hanging out together, summoning and stuff. Maybe I could do that in the future, like, where I just summon for you. Um, but getting into other people's accounts is super, super annoying. Like, you guys have, might have noticed I haven't done a account review in the longest time. That's because it's actually, usually there's some sort of trouble getting into someone's account. Um, like Google locks you and then asks you for some sort of ident identification and then you, they have to be there in real time and then you have to look at a number on your screen and tell them what that number is and then they have to type it into their phone. Um, and then sometimes you have to, and then I have to install a new Nox every single time because if I, if I um, clone my Nox into like a different instance, it has my 
like password and game and everything saved. And even if I log out and log back in, it still like it still logs me in there because I'm actually still logged into Facebook. And then I can't open the Facebook app because I think it's not actually installed on Knox. It's just like on MSL. So pretty much every single time that I have to do a account review, um, I have to install a new Knox and then I have to be sitting there live with them and they have to, I have to enter their account, they have to give me their account info, I have to enter it and then they have to verify on their device in real time before I can get in. And I guess I was just kind of uh, kind of too lazy to do that to be honest. Maybe if I review a lot of accounts on stream and then use a different emulator where I can just keep logging out. Like you know how Asian Elite used to do it on stream? That could work. Man, Asian Elite, Elite left MSL as well. It's sad. It's all right, I'm still here. I'm still here. Um, but anyways, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to talk to you guys, um, tell you guys a little bit about what's been what's been going on. Um, I think the last thing I want to up update you guys with is a little bit about what I've actually been doing daily. I've been I've been working out a lot more, like with my with my brother, and and eating a lot more. Um, trying to trying to bulk up you know just uh, yeah just uh, regain what I've lost because I I I kind of starved myself quite a lot when I was in Canada and I actually lost a lot of muscle um, but I'm, I'm, I'm regaining it now But yeah, so far, so far it's been pretty good. <clears throat> My voice is cracking up after talking for too long. But I think that was a pretty good channel update. Um, just wanted to talk to you guys for a little bit. Usually I don't script these, just talk about whatever I want. Um, but that's pretty much it. I'll make a new video very, very soon. And hopefully by next video I'll have an actual overlay with everything flashing and just shiny and brand new and stuff but anyways that's pretty much it um thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out